वेलकम बैक है सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी ट्राइंग आउट रेजिडेंट इवल विलेज ऑन माई रॉग एल एफ आई हैव द सेट वन एक्सट्रीम वेरियंट ऑफ दिस डिवाइस इट्स अ पॉपुलर सर्वाइवल हॉर अगेन वी प्ले एस इथन विंटर्स हु सर्च इज फॉर हिज किडनेप डॉटर नेम रोज इन अ विलेज विल विथ म्यूटेंट क्रीचर्स दिस गेम रन वेरी नाइसली ऑन एल आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स आई हैव सेट द यू एम ए बफर साइज टू सिक्स जी बी एन बी राइन द गेम यूजिंग द हाई प्री सेट नाइन हंड्रेड पी रेजोल्यूशन सी पी यू बूज डिसेबल आर एस आर डिसेबल फर्स्ट एल रन द गेम यूजिंग A 15 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 15 watts. Connected my Xbox controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Start the game. Steam version. I have installed the game on Ally's internal SSD. We're using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. Internal and settings for the game. AFMF disable, free sync enable, radian anti lag setting enable, RSR disable, free sync enable, display settings. Borderless window mode, 900p resolution. Refresh is set to 120 hertz. In-game basing disable. FSR set to quality. Game supports FSR version one, not two. Hi. Enable all of the effects. Fill noise disable entirely up to you. That's it. Estimated VRAM usage around 5.6 GB. All right, there's a character. I'll just go out. Here, FPS is around 70. That's really very impressive. Check out the APU power draw around 15 watts. Total power draw 24 watts. You should be getting a play time of around one hour, 50 minutes on a full battery. Game is running very smoothly. Don't even need to use any frame generation technique. Can use AFM. Entirely up to you. I'll just increase the power limit to 25 watts. There you go. Apply. Observe the FPS counter. Yeah, FPS increase up to 97. That's just insane. Okay. Collect some resources. I'll be fighting against mutated creatures soon. Some ammo. Can craft some ammo as well. My knife. What was that? Heard a noise. Creatures are lurking in the field. Shotgun ammo. Load my gun. Locked and loaded. Some movement. Where is this creature? There he is. Landed a shot. It's coming this way. Not going down. <laughs> Oh, that was close. Get away from me! Finally, he's dead. Got some gunpowder. Load my gun. We are still not safe here. Total power draw is around 39 watts. We'll be getting a play time of around an hour on a full battery. Game is consuming almost 5.8 GB of VRAM. I'm expecting more of these creatures. There's one. Oh no, I missed my shot. Stay away from me. Let these guys acquit. Two of them. Okay, I can block their attacks as well. That guy lunged at me. Crystal skull. Was not expecting that. I think I cleared the fields. 
check out this view stunning visuals some survivors I'll just skip the cutscene now I'll enable AFMF why not we can enable AFMF on the fly and just open Adrenaline Lens software press all plus R keys enable AFMF setting disable vsync that's it frame generation status active now we need to enable AMD's overlay to showcase the true FPS count with AFMF enabled there you go gather some resources first got some shotgun ammo return to the field craft some ammo don't have the required items for ammo here we are getting around 120 fps this is just insane oh my god game is running so smoothly like butter more mutated creatures <laughs> blasted them I think this guy survived oh no another one came out of nowhere blasted his head off he survived running away dead oh no he touched and these creatures jump on me as we are stopped down to around 80 I think that's it. Craft some ammo. Another one. So excellent performance in this game, even without AFMF. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.